What's this place about? You run this? I do. This is my little oh, happy nice. place. It's uh, called Studio Pick. My last name's Pickens, so I popped it off of there. And uh, I've been an art teacher for 35 years and decided to pivot into my own little storefront. It's a walk-in art making service. Color me mine of everything, you might say. I do a lot of painting. I'm a painter myself. And so I offer camps and just uh, and some Saturday morning stuff. Uh, but mostly I'm, I'm here so that I can give people an opportunity to reintroduce themselves to art. A lot of people, there's somewhere they tell me when they walk, oh yeah, last thing I did was in 10th grade. And that's the last thing. And so I can't resist launching them into something that I know is going to be successful. That's beautiful. Thanks, brother. That's beautiful. So like this yeah. kind of thing. Okay. You, can't, you can't really control these so much. This is really poor pacing. These ladies are running this out here. It's my daughter, Julia, who runs uh, on First Fridays. And uh, so you can choose your colors, but you got to kind of let go. So it's about letting go and letting things happen quite often. Let it flow, huh? Let it flow. This is a, a class I'm offering in two weeks. comes with a couple of glass of the wine. Oh, beautiful. And it's nice. a, uh, it's basically teaching you how to mix colors and play a little bit. This has a lot of tape involved and glaze and different layers. So, uh, so that's a lot of fun. And I do a lot of this giant chain pull painting, this technique, which uh, people can knock one of those out in about five to ten minutes. Wow. Come on in. Want to make one? On me. <laughs> you want to make one? these guys, these chain pole paintings, this technique. A nice puddle going. And we're gonna push that around with a comb in a second. And then you're just gonna kind of do this and you wanna push it around until you get the surface covered. And then you can start busting it off the sides. And I'll give you a brush if you want to paint the edges. This is the first layer, and then we're going to drop a chain on it. And, and just drop it. Don't pull it. Okay. Yeah, just drop it. There you go. So now, I would actually recommend maybe pulling it this way since you got the more interesting stuff up in here. As long as it's on the beads and inside, you're gonna pull it this way. So okay. inside the pole, you'd be in good shape. Okay. And I like it juicy like that, like, cause then okay. it really floats on top of the pink, which is gonna okay. swallow some of that color. All right. A little up in this. Zone. Okay, all right. That's perfect, dude. All right. And then you're gonna pull this, like this, in this direction, and then just keep pulling it off. And I, I would do it like, hold your fingers like this, your, your left hand, upside down peace sign, and it kind of guides the bees, and you don't even have to, you can just pull. All right, I can hold it. Okay. Yeah. Sweet, you can drop that in the box if you want to grab it a little closer, a little further up. Beautiful, dude. That looks bad. Oh yeah. Boom. Who, who designed this? What the fuck? Who came there up with the is. effect with the beads? You? You know, I definitely cannot take credit for that. There uh -huh. are plenty of people on YouTube that uh -huh. do this stuff. Um, I will say this, once I saw the beads, I was hooked and I really explored. <laughs> and But there are a lot of people yeah. doing a lot of this kind of stuff. 